Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm the Motorcycle Rescuer and this is Motorcycle Rescuer. This bike is killing me. Watch this. So yes, not um, stupid loads to do today, just kind of niggly bits and pieces. Um, I said to Jake I can't find that part, I've checked all over the world online and um, others have tried to help me including uh, you guys, Daniel as well. And the parts you all send me is the same part that I had seen but just wasn't sure if it would work and it's this one here and they call this the upgrade to the older part this is the upgraded part now my concern on this one is this diameter is too wide on the other one it's inner so it has nowhere to sit now if I can find the other one where is it yeah, basically, I just I can't see this one working, but I am gonna see attempt because we need that. We need to seal off that area. So here it is. There's the slot. So where the original would slot in was in here. You see around here. This one. I mean, there's just there's nowhere for it to go. That's the problem. There's there's literally nowhere for it to go. So I don't know, I don't know if like all of this should come out or something, I just, I kind of just don't know. Um, I might take this big, big bolt off and see what happens. I'll pull my fix out, but I might take the big bolt off and see what happens there. Maybe this seal isn't needed if this part goes on, maybe. Uh, I don't know. But, um, but this is the upgraded part for this area, and it does look the right size, except... The actual seal here is in the way. So maybe this is a replacement part where you take that seal out, you put this in, and it does the same job. Let's have a little look. So I used the gun to blitz off the nut, which is there. And now we can see this kind of seal here um, that we just need to pry out, basically. Put something in, pry it out. I guess then we've got two options. Now, currently, I can't see what that seal is doing because with the nut in it's not even touching so what is that seal doing that that seal is not doing anything so it does make sense that this cap replaces that it does make sense um, so let's pop that out hopefully pop the cap on and that should be that fix um, which will be great going I have pulled my little saving piece out although stupidly i should have left that until the end because i dropped a bit of oil again and we're getting thin on oil at the moment if you excuse the pun so uh, let me see if i can pop out this weird seal that's just not doing anything and uh if our new piece actually goes in and does what it's meant to do well, i'm going to do some one-handed filming here guys and show you i'm just very gently going to pry on this Ah, look, there you go, look at that, not bad at all, um, again though, what on earth, normally you'd have a surface here, it, like, it would be skimming against something, so I kind of don't get what that's doing, let me just see out of curiosity if this even, yeah, I think that, wow, great, um, Daniel, you helped me find that mate, again, again, you've saved me, um, I think, because I haven't actually pushed it in yet, have I? Uh, that's something that my channel happens time and time again guys, where you, you guys just absolutely saved me. 
I'm not a professional mechanic, I've never worked in a bike shop, but I've been building bikes for 20 years now. Saying that, I think I've learned the most over the last two years actually. Um, the ER5s were a big learner for me, because we had that fuel seeping into the oil issue. I now know that that's a carb rebuild and a fuel tap issue. Uh, and um, yeah, I just find myself learning more and more and more because you guys help me out. So I uh, can't thank you enough. I better blitz on the uh, the nut again. And uh, it's a shame. I think someone did a bodge in the past because this had this had a layer. Someone had had put. Um, sealant over it instead of kind of looking at what it's meant to be doing uh, oh look there's one of the inner legs from the old part how that was on that way this seal's been played with look at that that's one of the inner legs so this seal was on this way but one of the inner legs is on the inside yeah all right let me pop this cap on and i think hang on a minute let me not pop the cap on let me blitz up the the nut to the exact recommendation talk of the uh, of the specs not really I just kind of did my best um, I feel like that needs to go on a bit more actually one moment for the uh, for the final glory oh, of course of course I dropped it on that on that momentous moment oh, right now you actually have to go in tight fit I feel like that's a good thing let me get out my uh, persuasive tool oh, big John I'm actually really glad that's a tight fit guys because you know it's meant to be in an oil seal isn't it could you imagine if I broke it um, it's meant to be an oil seal so that is job well done um, it's weird isn't it I I see these uh, these kind of upgrades and I think I don't know just don't always trust them so if you're leaking if your Kawasaki is leaking from the bevel at the back that's what you need to do you need to take out the old seal if you have an old style seal and then you put in this new upgraded part that stops the leak this is going to be a short fit this one so for people who are having the same issues as me because that was a great fix uh, i'm just waiting for everything to settle so that i can look at the uh oil level you've got to let a bike sit for a few minutes and i say that because i started it earlier um so I'm going to let it sit and then I'm going to top up the oil level because it lost a little bit and uh, fire this thing up, make sure it's not leaking anymore from the side. It's not at the moment so that's a good start. Great, that'll do. We'd know if there was a leak. That's in so tight guys, there's no way in hell oil's leaking past that. Uh, guys, that test run was unbelievable, mate. This this bike just pulls your arms off. We have no oil leak left, so we fixed the bezel leaking issue. Other than that, I think this bike is finally actually done. I'd be happy to let this go now. It's a full, complete project. Very pleased.